everyone welcome to another exciting video now today we'll be taking a look at how we can apply box shadow on a given card so here you can see we have a small card and this has got like a heading and some paragraph text so i need to apply box shadow on this to do that you can see i've already created a class called card and i have applied the same on the article tag now if i go to this css box shadow dot SCSS. Here, I'll be first of all creating the card class, and as I mentioned, we'll be making use of box shadow. So, here I'll be saying box shadow, and then there are three parameters which are mandatory as far as box shadow is concerned that's x offset, y offset, and the color. So, let's say we have the x offset as 5 pixels, y offset as 8 pixels, and then the color. So, color we can have black over here so that's black over here so if i now apply this you'll notice that we have the box shadow appearing now x and y offset if i just go and provide inset over here this is going to reverse the shadow effect and if i let's say want to provide a blur effect on the shadow and we can achieve that by providing another optional parameter called shadow blur and here we can specify a value of 10 pixels for that and you'll notice the blur effect now appearing on the card along with the blur effect we can also specify a spread radius let's say i add 5 pixels as a spread radius you'll now notice the effect that it has brought to the card if I apply inset on this again, you'll notice that it's now part of the card itself. So here, if I inspect this, you'll notice on this itself we have all these box shadow feature applied. We can also specify negative values as well and they can be applied to the X offset, the Y offset as well as for the spread radius. So this value that you see the blur radius that you see over here has to have a positive value so if i just go ahead and provide a negative value to spread radius as well and save this you can see how it has changed the appearance of the box shadow we can specify these values like zero pixels over here and zero pixels over here as well and after that 20 pixels let's say so here we have provided the blur radius only for equal shadow so on all the edges you will see the shadow is of equal size we can also specify pseudo border with spread radius only and to do that here we'll tweak this value to let's say 5 pixel and we'll be providing the blur radius as 0 as well so here you see we are providing a pseudo border width this is not actually a border but it's a box shadow appearing as border we can also have multiple shadows implemented so here what we have done is we have provided this pseudo border using this effect and then we have provided y offset shadow with negative spread radius and that's the effect that we have received so that's how you can make use of box shadow to, to make your cards look modern